गाइस आई एम भावेश ठक्कर एंड आई बी प्रेजेंटिंग यू द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ प्रॉब्लम नंबर थ्री काउज एंड बुल्स सो आई सो द फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई स्टार्ट विल्ट विद टेकिंग द इनपुट सो आई हैव टू एंश्योर दैट द नंबर ऑफ लेटर्स इन द वर्ड इज फोर सो आई राइट अ वाइल यू टू एंश्योर दैट इनपुट so i'll break my uh, string into a list because i have to make a, a character by character comparison later so it will be easier with lists you can also do it with strings so go input but uh, if uh, if i directly use uh, raw input I, uh, my input will be seen in the terminal so the, the point of the game will be lost because the next user can uh, uh, see my input so i'll import this module called get pass in python so get pass basically it takes in user input but echoes nothing on the terminal it is similar to the sudo you it is similar to the password you type after you use sudo in terminal so how how it's used is import get pass and you use this method you call get pass dot get pass so uh, this will take in uh, this is work like uh, raw raw and underscore input except it won't echo any uh, output on the ter- echo anything on the terminal so so uh, uh, i write the if condition to ensure that the uh, number of letters is 4 so if i have 4 letters then i have nothing to worry about but If I don't have four letters, then it it will throw me an error. Let's say invalid string length. Try again. So if the number of letters isn't four, it won't. It will go. <laughs> it won't break from the while while loop and keep on asking for input uh, till till the time I have four letters in my input. So now I I start by. so the, the role of user one ends over here now comes in user 2 so i, have, I write the code for the user 2 to guess the words so i assume the, uh, the us assume user 2 won't take more than 100 guesses to uh, guess the word so write a for loop which will run for a maximum of 100 iterations again i have to ensure that the number of uh, uh, the number of letters in the uh, guess word is also four so write the condition for that as well it's similar to the condition i wrote just above uh yes understand i don't need to use the get pass function because uh, 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 there's no point in hiding the input over here so i'll just simply use raw underscore input over here and also convert it to a list because it makes co- character comparisons easier i hope you know that we, we can concatenate strings uh, i uh, i think i have enough practice to understand what i've just written so so if 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 the number of characters is 4 then i simply break out of the while loop else i throw an error so i'm done taking inputs now i start i define the main function which uh, which uh, prints the number of cows and bulls so i name the function let's say cow and bull it takes two inputs the guess word and the correct word i'll be making some changes to the uh, 
the guess word and correct word in later on so i'll make a copy of the list now these two lines just a uh, copy uh, co copy the word uh, copy the correct word underscore correct list into correct and copy the word underscore guess list into guess okay so first i write the <laughs> write a code to evaluate the number of cows so uh, i uh, i uh, each so uh, each character has to be in the right position so basically Uh, uh the letter at the first index of correct has to match with the letter in the first index of guests to give me one cow and uh, so 1 2 3 and 4 and you know list indexing begins with 0 so I, i'll compare character by character from list 0 uh, from list uh, from correct 0 to guess 0 correct 1 guess 1 and so on for k so this this these three lines are fairly simple so if i have the same letter at both the at the same index in both the lists i have cows increased by 1 so let me initialize cows before cows equal to 0 so this part <laughs> the next part is a bit tricky while counting the number of bulls so uh, the thing is you have have to take <laughs> sorry you have have to take care for repeats because It uh, because it can give me more than even more than four bulls also. Like for example, if I uh, uh, if I have if my uh, if the actual word is a a a a and if my guess word is something like a b c d, uh, the actual I should uh, I should just be getting one cow. So but if I uh, but there's a high chance that I make an error and I get one cow and three bulls because a matches with all of them. So I have to be very careful while counting the number of bulls. so i write i'll write the code and i'll explain what i'm doing so uh if guess <coughs> Okay, so uh, my condition if guess guess of i is e e e equals correct of j, then I increase bulls by one. So let me initialize bulls before. Okay, so uh, Okay, so I'll explain why I have initialized correct of j to zero and guess of i equal to one. So, uh, let's say if my word is a a a a, and if I have uh, my guess word is a b c d. So, uh, if I do not make these make these two initializations, I'll I'll get my number of bulls to be four, but I have to get the number of bulls to be one. So, uh, or uh, sorry. Uh, let me give another example. A B C D and uh, the my guess word is B C D A. So I should be getting only one bull. But if I do not make these two initializations, I'll be getting four bulls. That is because uh, the A in my guess word will match with uh, match with all the A's in my uh, correct word, which will give me four bulls. But that has to be incorrect. So the moment my uh, A in the guess word matches with uh, the A in the correct word, I initialize the correct. Uh, 
correct letter to zero and my guess letter to minus one because I know my string won't contain zero and minus one. So uh, these uh, so it's safe to initialize uh, to, uh, to zero and minus one because I won't because they won't be I won't be using them in my uh, input. So okay so but now my number of bulls has my num has the total number of bulls plus total number of cows because if guess of if guess of i is equals to guess of uh, equals to correct of i then also it gives me bulls equal to bulls plus 1 but that is actually the condition for cows so i have overcounted in this so if i subtract cows from my bulls i get the correct number of bulls so print Plus equal to now I have to uh, remember that cow cows is an integer so I convert it into a string and I'm allowed to concatenate strings <coughs> plus And I return the number of cows because if if I if I have four number of cows then I have to know that I have to terminate the game. So this is the this is pretty much the function which checks the number of cows and bulls. So I just add the terminating condition right now. If what's my function in cow? Just add a terminating message and also indicate the number of guesses. So what what this line does is it calls on the function cow and bull and it prints the number of cows and number of bulls and if the number it returns the number of cows which is an integer. If the number of cows is equals to 4 then it goes on to this. It prints congratulations if guessed the word correctly in number of guesses and add a break statement to terminate the program. That's it. Thank you.